This playthrough is rated T for Teen. The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil, born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steam, scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell went loose in it. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for mother. His tribe was poor but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone, starting with you, Grandad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait, just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash. <laughs>
What do you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Reich, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Well, this is what dystopian Australia looks like. Or is it just like today, modern day Australia? It's hard to tell. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Why am I here with a new game for my collection? This time, it's Beneath the Steel Sky by Revolution Software, published by Virgin Interactive in 1994. Their second game in their, uh, uh, that they ever made. The first game was called Lure the Temptress, which I tried doing that one, but I didn't quite prepare and set up the, the recording for that properly. Uh, it requires like a lot of messing with DOSBox and all this other stuff, and I didn't want to mess with it at the time, so I thought, eh, we'll just do the sequel. Uh, it's a bit more polished, and every all the bugs have already been fixed out of it. So Revolution Software does a bunch of, uh, did a bunch of adventure games. Their more famous one is Broken Sword. Most people are more familiar with that one. Uh, the last game they did was actually a remaster or a remake of this one uh, uh, back in 2020, I believe. And right now, I've heard they're working on number two of Beneath the Steel Sky and possibly Broken Sword 6 apparently. So, but anyway, this is Beneath the Steel Sky, a sci-fi adventure that takes place in a dystopian world, basically Australia. Um, and we play as Robert Forrester, which uh, we're in this uh, city, and now we're trying to figure out why this uh, group wants us. So now we have to figure out how to like, get past these guys without getting caught. So, all right. So to play the game as we use this... Um, you could originally use this on the keyboard keyboard without the mouse, um, but there is like one section of the game if you don't have a mouse makes it quite annoying. So I'm just gonna play with mouse and keyboard for this. Um, you move the mouse around, click left click, and it'll move Forrester all over the place. And then you can right click on objects to interact with them. So, uh, oh, sorry, to uh, use them. So if you want to look at an object, we press, uh, go over to something, left click it. I could make use of that. And if we want to interact with it, we right-click it. Okay, he stuffs it into his, uh, invent uh, his pants of unending uh, openness. Because, you know, that's how point-and-click adventure uh, protagonists did it. We can also press F5. We can go into our menu here. We can adjust the volume. We can adjust the game speed. So if I ever want to go super fast, I can raise up. Or if I want to go super slow, I like leaving on medium just for kind of the ambiance. Uh, you can also do text and speech in this game. You could also turn off speech, uh, do text only or speech only. I prefer both, just in case if I have a trouble hearing it. You can turn the uh, effects off in the game if you're like, running an old machine or something like that. You can also restart the game, you can quit it, save, and restore the game as well. So saving the game, just click on it, and then we choose a file, and then we put our what it is, and then you can either cancel or save it. So we'll just save it. So what happens if we go downstairs? Those stairs don't look safe to me. Let's go down. Maybe we can just convince this guy to, like, let us go. <laughs> Jimmy Christmas. <laughs> I thought we weren't supposed to be killed, huh? But anyway, yeah. So this game has, uh, this is a classic point and adventure, a point and click adventure game where you can die if you do stupid stuff. So let's just restore the game. So yeah, we don't want to interact with that guy, he'll shoot us. So no, no discussing topics of conversation or, or science or whatever with that guy. No, sir. So, all right. So we need to make some noise to distract him. So let's look at this door here. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Hmm. Shut tight. Just as well there isn't a fire. Oh uh, yeah, we're, and this is a guy who's used to being out in the open wilderness and he's stuck in this like steel cage or whatever. He's in a steel cage. Anyway, if we want to use items, we, we go up here, and this is our interactive menu. 
or sorry, this is our item menu, so you can click on something to get the description of it. Unfortunately, Forrester doesn't talk when, when we click it. The circuits on the board contain Joey's unique personality. Yeah, if you heard during the cutscene, Joey's uh, definitely an interesting robot. And then the metal bar we just got. The crowbar is strong enough to give good leverage, but I thought it was called a metal bar. But anyway, if you want to use an item, you highlight it, hold the right trigger, or right trigger, right mouse button, and then you highlight whatever on screen. In this case, we'll move it to the door and click it. That way, that won't take make too much noise. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. Now we just have to wait for him to slowly get back out there. Maybe I should turn. Maybe I should turn up the speed for the purposes of stuff like this. Now we go. This one. He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. Well, thanks for playing beneath the steel sky. Oh, we. Lucky escape. Never mind then. Yeah, yes, we did die. I'm surprised the guy just kind of gave up and said, oh, he jumped. He's like, well, better tell my boss I failed because we were supposed to get this guy alive. But all right. Reich and Link and all this other stuff. I wonder if there's a, re a relation to some other famous people in history. No. Yeah. If he can't do anything, Forrester will just shrug. Security symbol. That must be their headquarters. You want to know the line read on that, Mr. Forrester? <laughs> yeah, this is before the day before they would get, like, really... No, I wouldn't even say modern days is really good voice acting and better voice acting. But, yeah, it has its charm to it. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Now, anyway, let's use it to go back inside. And now... The security man leaves, thinking we've died. Perhaps to find our body, which won't be there. So, let's go back downstairs and figure out where to go to next. Yeah, I played this game like a long time ago. Let's see, 92. How old was I? Yeah, I was about the right age to play games like this, puzzle games and stuff like that. It's not my first game. I'm trying to remember when I actually played this. If I actually got the boxed version or if I played it years later. I think I got it like on a discount at a place. Like it was in a dim bin for like five bucks or something like that, I think, if I recall. Back in the day. Yeah. But anyway, here's a panel here. It doesn't look as if it would bear my weight. Don't stand on it then. That panel in the floor looks like an elevator. Like a mini elevator. What's the point of those then? I guess this leads outside. Here we go. It's locked. No way out through there. Why would the guy lock it? Like, didn't he assume we were dead? Eh, it's just another, uh, uh. Ooh, what's this? It's wheezing and banging. Like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. Yeah, this game has some dry humor to it. <laughs> uh, so you might, you may or may not like uh, uh, some of this stuff. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. I'll try to get most of the deaths if I can. I don't remember how you die every single, or like it get an end game every time. So you'll have to forgive me if I forget. So I might have to look up all the deaths later on just to make sure I hit all of them. Man, anyway, let's go over here. Yeah, just stick our hand in that press. All right, what do we got here? Got a junk room. What's this guy? A transporter, huh? A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. But did you build Joey? There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Hmm, so we need to put... Well, the guy did say we need to fix Joey. We do have a circuit board, so... We just have to figure out... We Pretty have... lights. And a keyhole. Hmm, oh, yeah. But no sign of a key. Yeah, no key. I can't operate it without the key. No ticket. I mean, wrong thing. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. Ooh, ah. There's no way of changing the sequence. It's kind of weird to have a world where, you know, you have wilderness, but yet the guy knows about science because of uh, being able to build like Joey and stuff like that, so. An elevator to the floor below. Can we use it? Hey! 
What are you doing? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator. Your weight set the alarm off. And I can't concentrate with all that noise. So he is the key, huh? <laughs> yeah, that little goofy music in the game. So, all right. So we know we can't get out of the elevator, otherwise it gets him mad. So. Hmm. That's no use. There's no jug. Well, what are you talking about? A discarded coffee machine? Oh uh, yeah. Without the mug, it's totally worthless. Even though you could get a mug, but whatever. It's a robot shell. Rusty. But it might work. Hmm, perhaps we could put Joey into this thing. Oh, well, let me click the right click. I'm not picking it up. I don't even know what it is. But you said it might be perfect. What are you talking about, dude? Anyway. I mean, I know what to do, but I'm exploring around. Hey, dude. Let's see what we got here. A lot of stuff we can interact with. Insurance certificate. Years out of date. Uh oh. I could take this, but I'm sure it's no use. Yeah, you don't want to stuff everything in your in your pocket. That'd be silly. Who does that? Tree world. See the world as your ancestors saw it. Trees? Those don't exist. I don't want that. It's depressing. <laughs> All right. I have to turn down the sound just a just a smidge, maybe. The only problem with turning down the sound is it kind of a uh, Turns out other things too, so let me just put this down just a little bit. Alright, let's see what we got here. That might be fine. Ah, yeah, but it, the sound effects don't really turn down either, though. Okay, well, I'll figure it out later, so. I'm always bad at, because my I don't have the greatest of hearing, so, like, my what I believe sounds great does not sound the same to other people, so. These displays mean nothing to me. Nothing, I'll tell you. Just a jumble of ASCII. Meaningless. Yeah, it's when you ask someone to code something that's never done it before. You're like, I don't know. Smart design. It's a cupboard. What are you doing? Get out! That's my personal property. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted your sandwich, dude. Lots of buttons just asking to be pressed. Ooh, the candy light button. There must be a secret combination. Yeah, there's not a big red button there, so that doesn't really work in our favor, so... It's displaying technical information. That I don't understand. These figures mean nothing to me. Yeah, best not try to figure it out. It's a lever with a big red knob just waiting to be pulled. Oh. He's probably like, please don't do that. It's more impressive than the ones back home. Yeah, if you say so. It must be controlled by the computer. Yeah, which that lover does, so. Anything else? Nope, okay. See Excuse me. See what the man has to say. What now? Uh, where am I? Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Union City, huh? Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Huh. Okay, so Union City, Lamb, Council, got it. Tell me more about the Council. They govern the city, with the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. Uh-oh, the computer's running things, you know what that means. What was it like before Link? Ah, those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? Search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. Oh, of course. How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You've been up there. 
It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy. You won't be running at all. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. Can't I use your elevator? No, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. Yeah, I realized I should have turned off the machine before talking to this guy. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Because Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. Yeah, that'd be bad news for me. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. Okay. What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. He says thingamajig, but the subtitle sub says inducer, so... <laughs> but, uh... Okay. Yeah, of course, uh, of course nothing in the future works. What did security want? After a saboteur! You seen anything suspicious? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I saw a red helicopter and overzealous security agent. Only an overzealous security agent. That would be right. Best to avoid him and his bully boys. Bully! What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? Uh, it's very nice. <laughs> I don't think much of the paintwork. Yeah, I know what you mean. I thought about redecorating, but I couldn't be asked. <laughs> what are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. Factory of pipes, huh? I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Yeah, sorry, bad, bad call for not turning off the machine while talking to the guy, but oh well. I didn't even really think about that at the time. <laughs> uh, that, that'll happen every once in a while. All right, let's uh, let's fix this robot shell. Whoops. Okay, right-click it and. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down and keep out of the way of security. Thanks for telling me what to do. Uh, so yeah, Joey's a bit sarcastic, so you know, that's just, and he'll follow you around uh, over the course of the game, and you know, the fact that we can change his bodies out, let's just say that'll become important later, so. And we can talk to Joey anytime by left Forget clicking. Forget it. By right, left clicking him and right clicking him, we'll also talk to him, so. All right, let's get some, let's get some exposition, shall we? What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. Wow, how depressing. You've kind of reminded me of Marvin from, uh, from uh, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy. Can you start that transport? Do yourself, Foster. I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? Wow, what a lovely personality you got, Joey. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one. Aren't I basically your god? I created you. Why are you being so so weird to me? So, yeah, whatever. What tools does that shell have? None of any use, unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool, and an extendable probe. Uh, hmm. maybe later. We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? Yeah, don't you miss going home? Don't you miss our home, the Gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. Uh, okay. A 
About that temporary shell, Joey. I don't want to talk about it. I'll find you a new shell, I promise. I should hope so. Marvelous. I get kidnapped. Nearly killed in a copter crash. Hunted by professional thugs. And I'm stuck with a robot in a sulk. Yeah, sulky robot. Yeah. <laughs> Can you start that transport? You don't give up, do you? Have you found out what's wrong with it? It's the, uh, Knopfler charge reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. Although, I guess I went a little ahead of the curve, because there is a little bit of extra dialogue if you don't... This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here goes. There. How was it for you? I think I'm going to have to make this video rated M for mature. Oof. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I think the dial is a little bit different. I did find out the information from uh, uh, Hobbins earlier. Uh, but, uh, okay, so we also need Hobbins to leave his leave his area because of uh, we want to check that cabinet he was on earlier. So I'm going to have to stand on the elevator again because remember how he's taking a few seconds to turn everything off? It gives you a chance to go back into that room. So let's do that really quick. So let's annoy him again. An elevator to the floor below. I told you to stay off the elevator. That alarm is driving me spare. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. All right, let's go inside while we while we wait for him to do that. So it'll take him a few seconds. So all right, we need to grab stuff in the cupboard really quick. Ah, oh, whoops! Crap! What are you doing? Get out! That's my personal property. Dang it! Did I get at least get the sandwich? No. Sorry, I did. It highlighted on the door, and I clicked the door again. So, all right, I have to get, I have to distract him again. So, luckily, we can do it as many times as we want because it's part of a puzzle. So, it just uh, surprised it didn't let me click on it fast enough. So. An elevator to the floor below. Oh right, right click it. No, oh, not again! Are you trying to wind me up? Just double checking. God, flipping inspectors! I forgot how much, how many times you can do that before. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, before. Uh, he, I mean, you can still do it as many times because we need to do it. I'm just talking about how many lines of dialogue does he have? So. All right, let's try to grab the. There we go. Grab the sandwich and the wrench. Okay, there we go. Now we don't have to do it anymore. Let me see if he's got any more dialogue, though. I don't think I have to do this anymore. But yeah, we don't have to grab the sandwich. By the way, that's optional. I just want to grab it because. So let's see what this says. A tool. This uh, tool is a standard 30 millimeter wrench. And then sandwich. The meat is mostly f fat and gristle, which appears to be in the early stages of putrefaction. Ugh. An elevator to the floor below. Oh, sorry. You can click the button of speed through dialogue if you need to. So. That doesn't. If the supervisor complains that I'm late, I'll tell him it was your fault. Okay, so he's gonna complain. It doesn't matter because I'm not an actual uh, guy, so. Alright. Okay, I need to wait for the. Uh, Okay, yeah, he's... That, let's inspect the hole. It's dark down there, and hot. Okay, now I have to wait for him to go again, because I didn't realize it taken that long to get over there, so... But yeah, we have to wait for him to, uh... Um, drop a thing in there so we can actually go down the hole. <laughs> go, uh, barrel go down the hole. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do right now, anyway, so... Just gotta play the waiting game. I wonder if it'd be easier if I just left and walked back in. That might be the better case. Alright, back in. Because I need to tell a transporter draw, uh, droid to appear, so... Okay. Surprised it doesn't set the alarm when he stands on it, but... Whee! Okay, so what do we got here? We got a furnace. Ooh, camera. That thing's watching me. Good Maybe. thing I'm naturally photogenic. Aha! It's much too high to reach. Yeah, it's blinking at me too. This is creepy. Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. Yeah, what's up, Doc? I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. Are you sure about that? All right. And there's Joey. Yeah, some, he'll eventually come. Luckily, he has a uh, helicopter on him, so. No buttons, just a thin slot. Hmm. I've got nothing that would fit. It must need a special card. Oh, you don't say. That's got to be a way out. Yeah, that ain't working. All right, Joey, you got anything for me? This must be where the scrap gets melted. Is that why you brought me here? Don't worry, kid. They'd only take premium quality scrap. I think Joey has something to say on every screen, if I recall correctly. So... Think this could be a way out? Through the furnace? I don't rate our chances. If you can't be sensible, be quiet. Even though we asked him the question, so... I think we're being watched. They seem to think you're someone special. I can't imagine why. You didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know I had it in me. <laughs> Only when it was funny. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. But he's given me two leads. Overman and Link. Apparently, once it's alive, holy crap. He just, uh, uh, you know, cut the guy in half. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. Ugh. What do you got on him? Anyway? He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. Maybe that'll make me cue. Let's take a look. Dark glasses are cheap, plastic, and broken. ID card. This plastic card bears only the security logo. I wonder if I can go back up. I want to see. I want to have Joe. I mean, technically, you can come back here later. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a technical glitch there. So let me see if I can climb back up. If not, I might uh, reload it. So eh, it will not. Okay. I want to see what Joey's extra dialogue is, and then we'll call it a save. Yeah, I shouldn't have saved it there, because sometimes it'll stick the sound effect, Still, it'll still go. So, alright, let's do this one again. Okay. Let's go activate Joey again really quick, and I want to see if he has any dialogue for these. Because he's supposed to have extra dialogue in certain rooms. So, I'll have to remember that in the future. Because I want to, I'm, I'm one of those guys that, that kind of like showing off dialogue and stuff like that in games. If it does, if it's not too much trouble. Welcome is you now or what? But I've got to reward you and keep. Okay, so let's go back here. Now let's talk to Joey in this room. Yeah, you can just press the. What button. do you want? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Nobody told me. I'm too busy to show you around. 
Don't worry, I can show myself around. You won't even notice I'm here. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. Yeah, they should have some different dialogue if you, uh, uh, instead of just stepping on the elevator, you go straight, straight talk to him, so. Excuse me. Oops, didn't mean to talk to him, sorry. What now? I'll get you. Let me turn that back off, just so I can talk to Joey. Uh. Can you distract that maintenance man? What do you suggest? A song and dance routine? A few conjuring tricks? Now you're being silly. I don't know. Musicals seem to work all the time, so uh, I think. What's our present location? I think that's what does it matter? Okay. What is this place? It's not worth explaining. You're too thick. This guy's so nasty. Okay. Forget it. Okay, let's go to the other rooms. That way we don't have to deal with that loud noise, so... Yeah, let's go to the next room. Sometimes Joey will take a little while to catch up with us, depending on what it is, so... Alright, come on, Joey. Come on. I, mean, I could turn up the speed just a little bit. I just, I just like kind of the saunter walking motion. It just seems a bit just the right size. You know what I mean? All right. Is Joey not going to come? Uh, let me turn... Actually, let me turn up the speed for just this spot here. Let me max it out. Those stairs don't look safe to me. Yeah, see how... Uh, I guess Joey doesn't have any. I could swear you could get him in. Yeah, see, this is a bit, a bit crazy for speed. That's why you don't want to. Okay, I could swear Joey could go into this room. I guess I must have misremembered. Because usually Joey will follow you to most screens. So, okay. Well, never mind then. Unless I, unless I took forever. Let's see if he'll follow me now. Probably not. Yeah, try it. Try it now. Because usually Joey takes a second to follow you sometimes, depending on the room. But... Yeah, I should have maybe play, pre-played this a little bit further. I mean, I've played this a long time ago, but this is one of those things where the last time I played Tesla was like months ago. So I've forgotten some of my notes on some of this stuff. So, all right. Well, anyway, sorry about that. I'll try to be more, a bit more efficient in the future. So, well, okay. Looks like our, looks like this, the guy who's chasing us is already dead. So now what awaits us? We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. But can we find our way above the clouds? Are we stuck here on ground level? What awaits us in the pipe factory? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.